okay. it was built by uh, the architect who was Dumi Pukatiya, okay. I ran to the police station to ask them to hold work for the time being until proper excavation would be done. But as soon as I came back, okay, I find everywhere covered in concrete already. The architect very sadly, okay, he just allowed all these sacrileges, their grave unpardonable sins. We're going to the roof now. that he has taken care to destroy everything, everything he found. What a shame. Okay. So here we are. Where are we? In the chapel? This is what used to be the chapel. Good. Okay. But recently, recently, until recently, the last use uh -huh. it had it had been turned into a restaurant. By the here? Yes, here. Yes. Yeah, this, this used to be a restaurant. Over there, uh -huh. over there, there used to be the main altar. The main altar, okay. okay. Main altar, which was a very old altar, altar. It was made of stone or it what? It was no, it was it wasn't um, it was old, but it was made out of wood. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very well sculptured. Okay. But for some reason, it found itself thrown outside, mm -hmm. and um, who knows what has happened to it? Okay. But this is the old altar. For your information, uh -huh. the chapel initially, okay, was only up to here. Okay. Okay. But I don't remember it. I remember it as it is. Okay. And the farmers used to come peasants from Salmon. Okay. Mass was said here every day at four o'clock or half past four in the morning, okay? So people, early, I would have been still asleep. No, people enter from the door, uh -huh. okay? The ladies, all of them, oh. say at the front. Ah, okay. And the men... At the back. At the back. Not on one side and on the other. No, it was like that, okay? And so we had to stay with the boys. Yes, of course. Day, no? <laughs> and I remember Don Giuseppe, the old priest, no, coming inside here, okay? We used to light every single lamp, which we had here, Okay, economizing a lot on candles, <laughs> they cost money. Economy. And something very interesting is this, that people owned their own chair. Chair. Uh, okay, that is, initially they had to bring a chair here so that they would be able to sit on it. Okay. The first time, then they would leave the chair here. They would leave the chair and it would be there. Okay, but the men had benches over there, okay, and you sit, they used to sit on benches. I like, well, that's why we say when, when, when you have a place and you, you pretend to sit there, well, uh, it's not the Lechnitz, yeah? It's yeah, coming yeah. from, from the, those days. Yeah, it could be. So, the door, is the door when the, the aeroplane yes, shot? Yes, yes, yes. The bullets at the front. The bullets enter from there. And when you see the cross of the night over there, the multi, the multi scroll. There was that, that one. There used to be this picture. This one. Is now, it is now um, down, down uh, in, the, in the chapel down the hill. Good. Something very important about this chapel is this, that Attila Ferris, uh -huh. okay, um, a very old historian, wrote the history of the church. And he wrote that here on this hill, uh -huh. on Salmon Hill, on the highest point of the Salmon Promontory, which okay, is here? Yes, it is this place here. Okay. There used to be a chapel, okay, up till the 16th century, okay, dedicated to Our Lady of Mercy, Madonna della Mercedes, okay. okay? And apparently, this castle was built, okay, where the old chapel used to be. It was okay. demolished, maybe? Pardon? It was demolished, the old one? No, it was, of course, demolished this castle, okay, with the idea, I had the idea, okay, that probably the church, okay, would have exactly the same location where the old church okay. used to be. In fact, I'm sure it was correct, because when, sadly, in 1994, uh -huh. They started to, to, to renovate the place, uh -huh. okay? They removed all the stones from the ground. And what, what was all there? All of them. And inside, there was an underlying 
okay? system of air conditioning. Oh my god. Okay? Air conditioning, okay? Ventilation, or... uh, ventilation. Okay. Okay? That was air conditioning, no? And they removed the building so that they would be able to lie there, to lay there all the new air conditioning. Okay? However, however, I had the hunch that if when they were removing the stone, the stone slabs here, I would dig a little bit deeper, uh -huh. I, will find, I will find, I will be able to find the foundations of the old church. And I did. I came here with Ruben, with your cousin Ruben, yes. Okay. And actually, I don't know if you can see that. Look. Okay. Actually, after digging through the whole night, Ruben, <laughs> a little boy, 14, 15 year old, no, myself, and we found the ups somewhere here, okay, of the old church. Okay? okay, but only that. We even found not only skeletal remains, but we found also earthenware. What, okay? what, what, what? Vases. Oh. Okay, yes, plates. And they were still. They yeah. were here. But I ran to the police station to ask them to hold work for the time being until proper excavation would be done. But as soon as I came back, okay, I find everywhere covered in concrete already. My God. As soon as possible before work should be halted. That's very sad. It's very sad. Particular, particular staircase over here. No? It's like the Verdana Palace, no? But that is round. This is elliptical in section, uh, in, okay. in, in area. Okay, okay. Plan, it's elliptical. Okay, and you can see this, okay, you can, you can pick where you go. Either a long stride or a, short. a shorter stride. Okay. okay. Even okay. even the hole here, it, it, it shows it's elliptical. You can see here, yes, it's a right coming for it. Yes, yes. It's elliptical. It can be elliptical. Yes. Okay. There are Mertu Tal Kakiya, I call you. Mertu Tal Kakiya. Because he designed this anyway. So we're going up the stairs. And every now and then there's a, a wide one so that you rest your yes. Now look, this is what I what I am angry at. Okay, when they did this place, okay, uh -huh. they buried the conduits inside inside the stones here. It should not have been done. And to lay these, uh -huh. okay, they actually chopped. Okay, the old no, uh -huh. will look here. Going out in the back, as you can see, it goes all around. No, yes, yes, yes. let's go. Let me walk first, right? Okay. For safety, for safety. For safety. <laughs> no, much. We have to walk slowly. I've never I have gone around there. this. I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't count the number of times uh -huh. I went around here. Okay, uh, it's, it's the first time for me. Look, look, look at the view. Oh, that's Bujibba. No, that's, that's, those are the nice buildings of Bujibba. Uh, no. <laughs> Okay. Mr. Bay, Mr. Veli, Mr. Bay, Mr. Veli, Mr. Uh -huh. Bay over there. That's the trunchier over there. With the piece over there, it's a theater, we call it. And those are fish farms over there fish farming, uh, yes. at the back. Farming. And that is Shamshia, Shamshia, fire station. Uh -huh. Look the view from here. Wow! Wow! Amazing! Huh? Look, Joao uh, Conrad. What? Can you see these? Look. There's Buschia so many graffiti. Buschietta. Buschietta. Okay. But these are, 18, I, I think, 18, they are old, though. 18... Uh, eight, 1911. 1911. Okay, this used to be a place for the nights um, as a vacation place. Okay? After, after them, many people used to come here, spend weekends, months perhaps, um, going around in the countryside and resting at the castle here. Okay, this was the vocation of this castle actually. Okay, it's a vacation place for people. Okay? Cesare Vassallo, who was who was probably the first archaeologist um, in Malta, uh -huh. Dr. Cesare Vassallo, he was also the head chief librarian in Valletta, okay? Spent about 16 days here in 1846. And he went around talking to people, okay? And yes, he lived here um, in the castle. 
not only that, but also it might be interesting for you to know this. Patrick Manuel Magri, Matuel, Matri, Patrick Manuel Magri, okay, a Jesuit who was renowned for having collected from the from the farmers from the from by word of mouth uh -huh. all their legends and all their stories. Uh -huh. and, and he wrote them down in two volumes, okay, um, depicting the un, the unwritten knowledge, okay, of wisdom the farmers, of the yeah. old people. This is what happens when we try to do something modern. No, this is the fault of Maritim Selmoun Palace Hotel, who ran the palace to rent the hotel in the... In the uh, uh, um, Look. Yes, yes, rent the hotel, and they tried to renovate it. The architect, very sadly, okay, he just allowed all these sacrileges, their grave, unpardonable sins. Because you should never renovate a place, okay, by ruining it like that. It's permanently ruined. So what about the weathering here, see? You were telling me, look, look. Mila, um, this side of the palace never sees the sun, actually. Oh, okay. Okay? That is why even if you look at the, at the patina here, okay, it shows you that it is, look, it is also humid, humid okay, um, and never sees the sun. On the other side, the facade, okay, it's brownish, it's very, very, very beautiful. Coloring mm. of the of the Globetrina limestone is yes, correct, you can see it. We're going to the roof now. Another staircase. Wow! Wow. Let's see the view from here. That's the church or the modern one? Be careful, eh? Be careful when we walk. Especially. Uh, so you told me that this one was built with the intention uh -huh. of being strong enough to take heavy artillery. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> 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 Appena the do Don Giuseppe, ting uh -huh. ting. It's ting, the original ting. one. Let's, let's take you with me. Let's. Wow, wow, look, look, these are the old. old one. The, the new ones, sorry. The, the, the new, new ones. ones. Yeah. 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 The view is amazing from here, guys. Look. Look at there, Shamshia, St. Paul's Bay, Shamshia Heritage Trail. You can see it upstairs, the old chapel, the, the new chapel here, Salmu. And over there goes to Meliha. I'm going to go to the Sahara. Jawa. I'm going to go to the Bithal Barra. I'm going to go to the Inem. But I'm going to go to the Arab Teeth. I'm going to go to the Bithal Barra. The bitcha, like as we have said, is very difficult. It is not easy to post. We have to have to be Okay, he's showing us something interesting. No, the view from up here. Wow! Look. Over here. Over here, you can see. Come, you can see Fort Campbell. Ah, the good. There, Fort Campbell. We will be doing that. So Fort stay tuned. Campbell. On the other side here, you can see the island of, of Saint Paul. Paul. Okay. Good. That is that is the the what we call the search. Okay. okay, this is Mistra. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the battery. Good. Okay, battery. You can see over there that is Aura. Okay. Beyond there is the beautiful mountain of Mata. <laughs> okay. Mount Mata. There. Mount Mata. Further here. Okay, there is Saint Paul. Saint Paul. The Saint ribbon, Paul's ribbon village. Okay. All around the coast, Saint Paul's Bay. Okay. And if you can see over there, look. You see this rectangular part over there. That's the fire station, no? I that think. is the fire station, but before that... Yeah, what was it used okay, for? Before that, there are two, two there round things be, down there. No, there used to be. Uh -huh. Those are the bases of 
Canon the old um, oil tanks. Oil tanks, okay. okay. Because ships used to enter here, okay, until the until the seventies, I think, okay. early seventies. Okay, there was there were um, um, fuel fuel tanks over there. Okay, where do you used to store oil? Okay, and so on. But then they removed them. Strangely enough, Conrad, strangely uh -huh. enough. Um, I don't know whether you know Trump. Trump, not the American president. Uh, president. That, that's the one okay. I know. But David Trump, okay, is a very renowned, okay, archaeologist. Okay. He has passed away only recently, okay. But he has done very precious work on Malta, okay. Um, so this Trump once wrote in one of, one of his books. He wrote that um, finds archaeological finds in that area, okay, oh, no. have always eluded him. Okay, and then I met him when I met we met we met him in, in Gozo and I told him, Look, Mr. Trump, no wonder you couldn't find any remains there because this is what I have found. Uh. Because I have found this diary of, of Cesare Vassallom, who actually records this girl telling him that he had taken care to destroy everything, everything. he found. What a shame. Okay. And this is what what what, what Dr. Trump did. Ah. <laughs> There are these stairs as well here. Garigol. 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 Nice. Look. Who knows who came up here? To this chamber. Okay. To another. To this chamber. Another room here. This is this is where. Uh huh. Okay. Visitors to the castle used to used to quarter, not to their quarters. There used to be four of these, one on each corner. Okay. Perhaps Cesare Vassallo used to sleep on this one. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Let's go down, let's go Admiral down. Admiral Rosier, NATO, uh, NATO chief, military chief, used also to have this castle uh -huh. as his residence for several years. Okay. okay. And your grandfather, my father, Giuseppe, okay, was his driver and used to come from for him here and take him to work and back again here. He was his driver. Okay. Nanno Giuseppe. Hello, Nanno Giuseppe. Good morning, Salvina. Good morning now. That was Salmon Palace. So I would like to say the final thing about this castle, okay? Please look at this corner down there, okay? It shows, okay, grave si signs, okay, of grave dereliction, grave danger, okay? Creeping up, slowly, up, up, slowly. Until some years ago, okay, the stones were not as deteriorated as they are now, okay? The more we leave them like that, okay, the less care we take for the castle, okay? The worse is it for our heritage. Hope you liked this adventure, guys, this experience. It was amazing for me. Thanks to Uncle Paul for on the information. For me, it was something personal because my family is, my family ancestors are from here, from Selmoon. Um, keep on subscribing. Keep on leaving us your comments. Until next time. Saha Uslim. There are many stories to be told about um, Selmoon Palace, but one of them um, is about the white lady which is supposed to appear okay every now and then of course i mean no white lady would ever appear I, I, people won't believe in that okay, but in those days they did believe it so that they would tell these stories so that people will not venture out at night okay this is why they mentioned that this white lady would appear somehow out of the castle okay going around checking whether people were asleep or not okay well, another story i would like to talk about is what nanna giuseppa used to tell me she used to tell me that every girl from Selmoon had the right to be married okay at the castle to spend her first night at the castle I used to ask Nana but did you actually spend your first night um, at the castle with Nanno Paolo she told me no, <laughs> no no in fact I spent it at home okay and I went to tell my my father to get the police okay for your Nanno Paolo hey. <laughs> <laughs>